Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and today I'm going to attempt something with a, a neighbor of mine. We're going to take out this older microwave and replace it with a new Panasonic. Uh, should be an interesting experience, and we're going to document it as we go. So I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the microwave currently in action. It's obviously got some gear problems going on underneath the uh, turntable, but it's been a pretty good microwave. Uh, features are all right, but I'm going to hopefully get something a little bit better and a little bit quieter. Okay, so we have the Panasonic fully unboxed here. Parts ready to go, and now we just have to work on taking down the old microwave and getting this one hooked up. So the first thing we need to do is probably remove the old ductwork so we can get in and make sure everything's centered properly. Everything's been disconnected, power pulled out, we should be good to go. I recommend reading through all the installation materials that are given. This is actually a template for attaching to the wall for either a rear exhaust or a top exhaust. So it looks pretty similar to the footprint that I had with the old microwave. So now the old microwave has been removed and what's been left behind is the mount. So now I need to map out the new mount after removing this stuff and kind of go from there. All right, so we've taken off the old bracket and what we're gonna do is simply put up a new bracket, kind of match it up flush. And since there isn't a stud, the stud is actually in the, in the middle of the uh, wall here we're gonna have to drill a hole and do some anchor bolts in the wall here. So we've now drilled a, a couple of holes uh, into the drywall and then we'll put the, slide the anchor bolts through there. All right, so we now have the anchor bolts on there and set up to go into the wall. And the manual recommends that you anchor it to a wall stud, but we don't have one available. So what we're gonna do is put this thing up there, get it tightened in, and then drill directly into where the wall stud is, which is kind of in the middle, so it'll provide a little extra support. Okay, so we're drilling into the, uh, through the metal here to get, the, get to the stud so we can put some wood screws through. All right. All right, so we've slid the thing in. There's a little bit of resistance. There's some tracks on the inside where the bracket's coming out from the wall. And we kept hitting it. If you don't get it into the slot correctly, you keep bouncing it in and out. So we got it up in there, and now we're just anchoring it to the top cabinet. So here it is, the final product, fully installed and working. Um, you have to be careful when you're mounting. I managed to slice my uh, finger a little bit on some of the sheet metal behind, but uh, that was the only injury that we had. There was a little bit of trouble getting the bolts down from the top part up, uh, up in here, um, but it wasn't too bad. There's a great drill that you can get uh, that can help you do this better. And um, if I can find it, I will uh, show it to you. So here it is. It's basically this thing right here. If you can see that, let's zoom in here. There we go. It's got a little bit of a, a sharp edge here around the side so you can widen any kind of holes that you have. So successfully installed the Panasonic microwave and you should check my blog for the full review and the whole process here and that's at www.hitechdad.com and you can follow me on Twitter and ask any questions that you may have about the install process or the product itself and I'm at Hitechdad.